Hello, this is Ekushan from Twitter. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, ROP and uh, ROP gadgets and what they are. So, um, what is ROP? ROP stands for uh, Return Oriented Programming. Uh, you use it to make use of uh, read executable memory you have just read, so when you have a dump of that uh, memory. Uh, what are ROP gadgets? Uh, ROP gadgets are small instructions that always end with a return after, so uh, uh, this way you can make a set of instructions, so you can for example launch your own payload as soon as you have uh, code execution so uh, for example if we go here to the gadgets of uh, CTERT from the 1.76 uh, PS4 playground you can see here for example pop RBP if you go here to uh, to WebKit 2 from 1.76 and we copy this address and we go here to the elves and I already have a database I open it with uh, IDA Pro let's wait um, a bit it's opened so when I click on G here on the, on the text and I go to B B5D60 and it's here pop rbp uh, and return so with this we have uh, an instruction that does this and then returns then we uh, for example if you want another instruction this one move uh, racks plus 0x60 uh, rdi it you can find it at 2b7274 so if you go here and search and you go here you can find it the instruction here so move uh, racks plus 60h uh, rdi return so um, you, you can use it can you can combine several of these instructions and make uh, and make code out of it and make it run your own code um, of those, uh, you can you can have this one. This this is uh, one of the most important ones because uh, you do a syscall with uh, with this instruction, and you can use it to run your own uh, syscalls. So this one can be found on libkernel at offset uh, 400 0x 457. So if we go here to libkernel and we open it up in IDA and we go to 457 you can see here that it does move, move R10, RCX and it does the syscall in this case the syscall, the, uh, the syscall uh, doesn't matter because we can just put uh, anything to move racks and uh, the the syscall number so anything between 0 and 1000 and something and then we put return and we call our own uh, syscall so uh, for example in another place um, you can see here in libc uh, move rdx rdi and then so it probably has a return let's see go to 860F so we go here to libc internal we, it will open up for us and you click on go and you go to 860F and it's here move rdx rdi and then return so with this you can uh, create uh, several pieces of code that you can use the, to then uh, climb your way to code execution um, with with several of these you can you can for example do a file system 
um, maybe maybe even uh, uh, make make uh, make FTP server. Maybe not. Maybe, uh, it depends on the instructions that you want to obtain from from these uh, from these modules. But since you have access to here in in one dot seventy six, it was WebKit two lib kernel, and uh, in uh, in a lo in below it was the libc internal. You can do several things with it, and you can just uh, uh, combine this and make uh, a payload for you for your own uh, your own purposes. Um, there's a special case for um, for red, which is simply a different type of return, uh, which you can find here at this offset on 1.76. Um, another thing uh, that you can do with this uh, is also um, well, I already told you can call syscalls. And you can also, uh, well, uh, run your own code pretty much. Uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you are having a nice time. And uh, goodbye and take care.